Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for December 18th through the 24th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Priestess of Light oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in show me how does Aquarius feel about the person on their mind I was gonna say last week Aquarius you had this attitude that I was like yeah <laughs> okay so you feel like this person is procrastinating you are not gonna chase them you'd rather just call this the end um you know if they want to be with you they know where to find you uh, the four of wands is at the bottom of the deck this does feel like a twin flame connection it feels like this kind of similar to the same last week like you know if they want me they know where to find me I don't give a you know what if they're upset about me not chasing them but knight of pentacles queen of wands and then the ten of swords here so and with that four of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah it feels very painful like you know what i'm not going to chase after them and it hurts you um because you have a very intense connection with this person in a relationship but it's not progressing it's like you feel this person is stalling and not moving fast enough and you want more you feel you deserve more um so why aren't they moving fast you know what this just feels like the end it's hard it's difficult maybe you two are going through a rough patch as well i don't want to call it a permanent ending even though the ten swords can be a permanent ending it's like hitting rock bottom of a situation before something changes because that phoenix does rise you know after going through something difficult here and that goes into something beautiful you know more stability for yourself but let's go ahead and take a look at how this person feels about you heartbroken wanting communication from you but they're not stepping outside of their comfort zone to to con communicate with you they feel like it, there's a lot more challenges here it's very challenging because you won't reach out to them they are expecting so maybe you did in the past you were the one to always initiate like communication with this person or fix things with this person or whatever and you're just tired and done um, you're not going to do it anymore the queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so this person either they've talked to their mother or they've talked to someone like a motherly figure or someone who just really listens um, about the situation and even though they were told to like you should you know reach out to them y'all should fix things they're finding it more challenging to communicate with you. So feeling this heartbreak, three of swords, two of wands, five of wands, and just kind of, you know, like, oh, I want to talk to them. I'm waiting for them. I want to, I want them to communicate with me, but it's just really difficult. Like I can't reach out to them and it's just difficult. They're creating things being difficult because like you said they know where to find you you're not chasing after this person so if they want you they know what to do so let's go ahead and get the connection between you and this person so aquarius um a pretty intense connection there okay so the four of wands in reverse the ten of wands and the seven of wands um you open up and say how you feel so in this connection i see you not holding back what you need to say but you're tired of carrying the weight of the relationship situationship um and them not doing the work and you're done this seven of wands is saying that you're taking a stand like enough is enough i'm not going to and you're over it you're not 
feeling any lingering pain. You're actually learning from this and what you've learned, you know, you're very resilient because I do see the 10 of wands as somebody very resilient with everything that they've learned in life and learning how to stand up for yourself. And when no is no, no is no. So the two of swords right here tells me that, you know, we're not talking to each other, but I'm not going to reach out to them. And if they want to, they know where to find me. But at, by the time they do, you're also saying that if they wait too long, I'm just going to block them and move on, or I'm just not going to pick up at all. Um, understandable. And this person has this um, extended, I don't want to call it grief, but it's like extended pain of a situation and carrying it with them, but yet guarded. And so they're not doing anything about it. You know, they're just waiting for you to do something about it. I know rolling your eyes. Don't get your eyes stuck. Okay. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this Knight of Pentacles here. So you were so invested in this person, so invested in this person. Things were progressing to a relationship, sharing feelings. Um, some of you have children, you know, they're getting to know your children, things like that. Um, but it feels like they just, when it comes to really moving forward and what you want, like a very, very solid relationship. This two of wands right here at the, uh, the bottom. There's a lot of passion. Let's just back it up a little bit. We have the three of wands, four of wands, and also the six of cups. This feels like someone that you've known your entire life. And even if you have, this could be a past life connection with someone. So some, some people you meet, when you start talking to them, you feel very comfortable. Anyone does whenever it's the right kind of connection. And it's like, wow, I feel like I've known this person my whole life. Well, a past life connection does that. And this is definitely a soulmate from a past life or a twin flame from a past life. And it does feel like you, know, you had a difficult time even in your past life relationship. Um, doesn't really feel like you two got to a relationship, but you've made it further in this one, in this lifetime here. And some people don't believe that, you know, but it's, it's crazy when you meet someone and it just feels so organic and it feels like you've known them forever. Like, did you grow, did we grow up together and we were friends and didn't know it, but you know, it's very intense. And to me, those are just like mysteries of faith, you know, that one point y'all knew each other in a different lifetime. And it's, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, however, you know, where you are dedicated, devoted, and really um, about this person, you're also seeing this person is really stalling and digging in their heels and turning their back on a relationship. Um, I don't want to say entirely, but it's like they leave you waiting when it comes to maybe moving in together, um, spending time, holidays together, things like that, and things progressing. I see you opening up and sharing your feelings, and you're really good about communicating to this person what you want and making plans with this person. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Wands. very confident in yourself. You know exactly what you want. Maybe some of you do have fire placements in, or I'm just going to say you do. You have fire placements, specifically Leo fire placements or um, Aries fire placements in your birth chart. Just the passion is so strong. That queen of wands right there is very confident, vivacious, and you attract so much good energy to yourself. Um, what you give out, you get back, but you are a little protected and guarded here um, from certain people like who you give your time to, which is good. So you're cautious, you're intuitive, you know, very strong, confident here. Um, but I do see that 
when it comes to giving this person your time, they know where to find you. So you have your guard up in hopes that this person really shows up as this queen of pentacles right here. Someone who really wants to be nurturing towards relationships and really focus on relationships um, because you've put your heart out there, what you're expecting back, you know, you're waiting for that to happen, but this person is moving slow. Um, I see you really progressing here too, Aquarius, as far as like your business, your wealth, your personal life, and it looks really good. And it's because you are very courageous, what you put your whole heart into and like you set your mind to, you can achieve anything, which is amazing. Um, I like that. Some people will be like, oh, I don't know, but I am that way as well. If I put my heart into something, if I put my set my mind on something, I know I can get it done. Sometimes it's the motivation. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do it today. Um, so, but I like. I like the demeanor. I love the attitude. Like, I can do this. I can do anything I want to. Um, the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Magician, as well as the Moon card at the bottom of the deck. So because this person is taking their time, not saying anything, you're like, forget it, whatever. I'm not putting up with this BS. I'm moving on. Um, you know, putting yourself back out there, getting attention. Other people want your attention. And you're really attracting, um, you know, what you are like the energy that you put out is what you're getting back uh, the moon at the bottom of the deck right here even though you might not have all the answers of what's happening with this person i do see you just like whatever i'm done with this bs i'm moving on feels like a victory a win taking your power back here and really um feeling that you made the best decision for yourself because you're not going to be with someone who's who's not fighting to keep you or progress with you let's go ahead and clarify this three of swords so they're heartbroken they don't trust you they feel you lied to them Ooh. or they have trust issues so they're when it comes to you and how they feel about you they're heartbroken and they've um, been heartbroken they feel that they haven't they haven't trusted you for some time and that's why they've been waiting and waiting and waiting to even say anything or see if this is real love. It's like they don't trust that this is their destiny or this is real love because um, there's too much pain there for some reason. Okay, um, Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles, and then the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So the way they are looking at this is like analyzing. Like, I don't trust Aquarius. I don't trust that this is you know, supposed to be good or whatever, because the more I look at it, the more I feel that I deserve more love. Um, you can take that how you want to Aquarius. This is just what they think, um, how they feel. And there's this lying of, oh yeah, I want that too or whatever. And being that king of cups for you um because the more that time goes on the more they start looking at things and is this really love is this really what i want is this something that i'm going to want long term so let's go ahead and clarify this two of wands This two of wands is clarified by the sun, the knight of pentacles, the page of wands, and then the two of cups at the bottom of the deck right here. Um, the plans that they're making like with you are kind of far out. The more that they structure things, they're like, I want to give this a chance. Maybe this is... Maybe this is my soulmate. Maybe it does, you know, this, that, and the other. Also, some of you have brought up the fact that you feel like it feels like you've known this person forever. They might be very practical too, that they don't get spirituality in that way. <laughs> Maybe you'll enlighten them. Um, 
but that two of wands where they're making a decision is like they're comfortable where they're at they're happy taking their time they're happy going slow and kind of exploring you know where things go and if this is really what you both want um they reach out to you but they take their time doing so and i get that you're just tired of it so let's go ahead and clarify the five of wands They really felt, Aquarius, that everything was going well. And they're now seeing some challenges here. Trying to be patient, but not knowing what to say. And what you said to them really has made them see the details in this situation. What they do with it from there, that is... I don't know what they're going to do with it because it's not showing like they're going to do something. Um... Other than they might tell you like, well, this is what I've noticed, but I see drama here with that five of wands, the challenges of, is this really what I want? And I'm not sure that four of swords is the lack of communication. They also spy on you online here, um, trying to, it's, it's like this person is digging for things that don't exist there to to find something and be like, I knew it. Um, it's like trying to dig up like whatever skeletons you have in your closet and point it out and be like, I knew that this was there and this, that, and the other, uh, but they're not doing it at this point. It's more so that they don't know what to say without saying it bluntly. Um, and something about the news that you brought to them made them feel that they should focus more on work. Let's get the outcome because I will tell you, the last outcome on Libra's reading, I don't know if y'all are dealing with the Libra, but it just turned. Okay. <laughs> it went from like really serious to something different. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they can't give you. The lovers, the knight of wands, and then the nine of swords, the three of cups is at the bottom of the deck. This person likes where things are going. Like, I enjoy spending time with you um, with that three of cups. Like, I, I enjoy our time together. I want to see where things go. But when it comes to a relationship and making that bold move, they're very, very nervous to do so. And you two not talking, this person will start to have sleepless nights, wanting to come back and reconcile with you. But it's going to be up to them if they actually do it, okay? Because at this point, I'm just seeing that they're nervous to do so um, and nervous to commit. So let's go ahead and get some messages. What do you want Aquarius to know about their reading? Okay. Oh, there we go. The first thing that comes out is going to be tenderness, true love, compassion. And true love should feel wonderful, beautiful. It should make you feel warm on the inside. It should make you feel like you could achieve anything, you know, and that this person has your back, right? So uh, tenderness. If you're not getting that tenderness from this person and it's inconsistent, then you know if it's true love or not. Compassion here, they should show that to you. Um, also, we have a healing earth, the power to give and receive healing, okay? So maybe if they don't trust you for something, true love, compassion, being compassionate towards each other, um, give and receive healing towards something that feels like it got a little broken or cracked. I'm gonna say it like that. There's a crack in this foundation. But are they going to show up and be like, let's go ahead and mend this foundation and let's reinforce it and make it stronger? Um, maybe we will see that in your bonus read to come. Uh, but as of now, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.